So on a previous video, I showed you how to filter a table by the latest record by group. And that method works, nothing wrong with it, but I think I found a way to do it more effectively, at least with less steps. So let me show you. So the previous method, there's nothing wrong with it. I recommend you to test both. You never know with performance. So if this method is not working very well, go to the other method. It will be linked in the description below. Test that instead. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So we have the employees table that we had on the previous example. This is download 67. Go and grab that same file. And what we have here is three employees that have had different positions over time. So you see the date and the new position. And what you want to do is analysis on the latest one. You don't care about the positions that they had before. You just want to have the latest record of each employee. Okay, so we're going to group by, transform group by ID, employee ID. We get the unique IDs and then we're going to group these with all rows. And as you can see, it groups all the information by ID. So in these tables up here, we have all the records for each employee. You know that. And we're going to modify this a little bit. So we are going to get rid of everything up to the two curly brackets. And here we're going to do the max directly. So we're going to do table max. And then for each row, go and grab the max of the column date, this column here, okay? And what it's going to do is going to return records. And the record is going to be the one that has the max date. So once we have that, just expand. We already have the ID, we don't need it again. And voila. Again, it's very similar to the previous one. I believe that this is more efficient, but you have to test it with your data. So you never know. Test it, let me know. Super, super cool. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.